Hello everyone and welcome back to Instrumentation Hub. In today's video, we are going to learn the difference between sensor and transducer. What are the things that makes difference between sensor and transducer? Before moving ahead, I would like to tell you one thing. In previous videos, I have covered detail about sensors and transducers. Like what is the definition of sensor, how it works, how it is used in different applications, what are different types of sensors. And similarly, we have learnt about transducers. What is transducer? Why it is used? What is block diagram of transducer? What are the commonly used transducers in industrial applications? Etc. Etc. So, if you haven't watched those videos, I am giving link for you. Check out in the description. And go to link and watch the videos. Okay. And one more thing, if you are new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button and join me in the learning journey. Uh, so friends, let's move to the video. Let's see what are the differences between sensor and transducer. First, we will differentiate these two by their definitions. So, the sensors are used to sense physical parameter and convert them into the electrical output. Whereas, the transducers which are used to transfer one form of energy into the another form of energy. Okay, so next. Next is that all sensors are not transducers. How? I will explain you. As we know, the sensor is independent device. It is used to sense some physical parameter and irrespective of that give some indications or some value. It does not convert one form of energy into the another form. It is just sense and give us the output. But whereas we can say that all sensor is part of transducer. Now again question is how? Let me tell you. As we have seen the block diagram of transducer. What was that? That includes some input quantity which is going to measure or which is going to be converted. Next is the signal conditioning, right? And in signal conditioning, transducer uses some devices to convert one form of energy into another and then give us the output which is required by the next applications. So, the first stage where input is coming to the transducer at that moment, the sensors plays role. As we know that sensors sense parameters. Before converting into the another form, transducer needs to sense something, right? In that moment, sensor is used. That is why all sensors are the part of transducer. Okay, so next. Comparatively to the transducer, the sensors are less complicated. Like they are just measuring value and giving some indication. Transducers are more complicated because they have to measure, give it to the signal conditioning unit and convert it into the another form and lastly give us the indication or the final result is going to use by further parts as it includes some processing or signal conditioning that will make transducer more complicated now let's see what are the common types of sensors so commonly used industrial sensors includes pressure sensors level sensors temperature sensors apart from these we have flow sensors speed sensors and many more Let's see some common types of transducers, which includes LVDT, thermometer, strain gauge, etc. etc. The main thing that you need to understand with sensor and transducer is both sensor and transducer are used to sense a change within the environment or an object that they are attached to, but sensor will give an output in the same format and transducer will convert measurement into the electrical signal okay so that was from my side 
आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सेंसर एंड ट्रांसड्यूसर स्टिल इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट्स एंड इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल देन शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स ओके सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन हब फॉर मोर मोर सच वीडियोज See you all in the next video till then tata bye bye